In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a basic contact form in MailChimp. This is perfect if you have a contact form on your website and maybe the emails aren't reaching you. You can sign up for MailChimp and they actually have their own integrated inbox and everything here that the uh, messages go to. So before we get started, all we need to do for to create this is actually, we go into sign up forms here under audience and you can start actually creating your form. However, before we do that, what I wanna do is actually if I want to add any fields into this form, they actually have to be a part of my list. I can't just have additional fields in there for whatever reason. So what we're going to do before we do that is actually going to go to our contacts. Now, this particular list I have already has a form associated with it. So it says here, current audience. I'm going to switch to this martial arts designer ebook audience. I'm gonna add in, show you how to add a field so you can add in whatever fields that you want. So here you'll see, I've got first name, last name, source, contact rating, there's not really a lot there, but maybe I want to put down, because since this is a martial arts related uh, thing, maybe I wanna put down a martial arts style that they can put into the form as well, like the style they choose to train in. So I'm gonna to go to settings, and I'm gonna to go to audience fields and merge tags. So if I scroll down, I can see all the fields that I have added and at the moment it's basic, which is email, first name, and last name. I'm gonna add a field and I can simply choose text if I get them to type in the style it is that they do. However, maybe I want to cater to three main styles such as you know boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, or something like that. So I'm gonna add a drop down this time and I can choose any of these fields and they're all pretty straightforward. You'll get a screen similar to this with some options. So now I have this I can choose style you train in and maybe I say yeah. style you train in the first choice can be yeah Muay Thai Brazilian Jitsu if I spelled Jiu Jitsu correctly and the next one could be boxing so we've got three styles I can choose from now this isn't necessarily what you want to do for this exact thing but it's there. Now, if I save these changes, scroll down, you see style you train in, options, the style you train in. And this is now added onto my list. Now I can add it into my contact form. So I'm gonna go back over here to audience and I'm gonna go down to sign up forms. Now we're still on the martial arts designer audience. So now I can go down to my contact form here and click on it and it'll start the form. If you have a form already existing, it'll actually show a different screen where you can go back and edit and make changes. But we're creating a new form, so we're gonna go customize form, and you'll see we have just the basic sort of information, and they can choose to subscribe, that kind of thing. The first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna show you some of the basic visuals. So if you're happy with just the straight contact form, we can set an image. If I click on this, I can set an image, and maybe want it to be my logo, so since it's martial arts designer, I'll add this logo on there and insert it. Uh, probably not the best image, but you get the idea. Or if I want to, I can just remove it completely, which just removes the image. So you sort of get the idea of how that works. And if I want to change some of the look, if I scroll down to the bottom here, there's a background color option. I can click on that. Maybe I make it like a charcoal gray to highlight the form itself. And I can change this such as, you know, let us know your thoughts. I can change the heading style to a small heading, medium heading, change the color to red if I want to, uh, although that didn't actually take effect. So I click on that, so I click on red. Maybe I need to highlight it. So it's there's a few things to sort of learn from that. So yeah, highlight that text to change the color and you got like bold, yeah, you know, italics, that sort of thing. You can add a link in there. Just the really basic text editing options. If I want to change the order of some of these around, so maybe I've got email, I've got subject, maybe I want to have subscribe to the newsletter. I can't actually add that higher, but if I want to move the, I can use the arrows to change the order. I can go to the plus button here and add more in. So you can see here, now we have style you train in. If I click create new field, all it does is take me back to that audience uh, field page to add in my my information. So I'm going to choose first name, style you train in. I'm going to just knock these up to the top. 
by clicking the arrows and positioning them where I want. First name, style your training, email. So I've got a few basic things here. I can go in, if I click on each field, and I can actually change a label. So I can say your first name if I want to, and I want it to be described. I can add a description, it's like what people call you. And you can actually go through like that. And the style you train in, you can say that's required to add another description. What is your primary martial arts style? And you can go through and add helper text, make things required, not required. Anything that is required will gain an asterisk. Subject, I would say not necessarily. Message, yes. Uh, you can go subscribe to newsletter, click on that. Uh, you can also change other options here, such as the button. If I click on the button, I can change the alignment. So left, full width, right, center. I think full width looks all right. I can also change colors. So if I change this one to black, change this one to say purple, when I hover it turns black, but otherwise it's purple. Or I can choose a custom swatch. So it's red, and when you hover over it, it goes black. So you've got those basic options. I can change the text color to yellow as well. I can do that, whatever color I want. So you've got basic customizations, and that is, that's pretty much what you get. It's not anything super fancy, but it does get the job done. So what I've done with my field here, I'm gonna go up and click Next. Now I can change the actual thank you page. So when they've signed up, this is what information pops up. I can go, thank you for reaching out. Keep training. And I can put some information there. I can change this to paragraph. I can change it to small heading, medium heading do the usual bits and pieces. When I'm happy with that message, which I can still continue to type if I want to, I click next. And here's another thing. When you're actually doing this, you can create a tag. So I've got replied. If someone has replied to me, maybe I create a tag called uh, contacted or something like that. So they've tried to contact us. So anyone who uses that form will appear in the audience with this tag that says contacted. So that's a pretty, uh, oops. So that's a pretty cool feature if you're looking to sort of use this as a, you wanna be able to see who's contacted you within your audience, it helps you to organize that. So I'm gonna click save tags. And now we're basically almost ready to go. You can see here our form on the right, we can choose to go back in and edit it if we want to. I can also copy this URL here and I can now put it into a link on my website or into my navigation and I can publish this form and people can access it. So now people click on this link, they get our form and they can fill it out, send us a message and they'll be on our audience tab with the tag contacted, which is pretty handy. Now you see here it says check out inbox. So if someone has sent you a message, it will end up in your inbox. One of the things I'll quickly actually, I'll just fill this out quickly. We're gonna say, Wade, I train in Muay Thai. My email is Wade at Wade McMaster. Hello, message and subscribe to the newsletter, submit. So I've typed up a message and I've submitted it. And as you see here, it's thinking about it. It says, thank you for reaching out. It's got our bit of gibberish on the end there. So now when I tab back, if I click on this audience tab here, there's now inbox. If I click on inbox, you can see my message sitting here with the information that I put in. So that's pretty much how that works. It's pretty it's pretty handy. Uh, there's also some notification settings. So you can send an email notification to say that something has come in. So you will actually know via email if someone has filled out this contact form. So um, it's actually pretty handy. It's not like you're gonna be flying blind and have to log into MailChimp every time you suspect a message has been sent. You will actually know about it. And you can also receive a browser notification if you want to do that too. So it's a pretty cool little feature, a great way if you're having trouble with contact forms, just use MailChimp, keep it all within that system. Uh, yeah, pretty handy and good and um, yeah, well worth checking out if that's something you need. So hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon and have a great day.